handy little piece of kit. Not only is it a key ring, it's also a CPR face shield. How does it work? Inside, it means that you've always got it with you. I've always got my house keys with me, my car keys. I hope you never do have to do CPR, but if you have to, this really is a barrier from the person to yourself. There could be bodily fluids on the face, it could be vomit, as I said, bodily fluids. Or maybe you just don't know the person, you want a little bit more of, um, I suppose, protection. As you can see, when you open it up, um, inside there is a little circle, and that is a one-way valve. Um, all you need to do is pop it on to the person's face. It hooks around the ears. I'm sure you're used to doing things like that right now, especially with the masks that we need to be using. And the little one-way valve goes inside their mouth, and that is the barrier um, there. So when we're doing CPR, I don't know if you've ever had to do it or ever had any training, just going to give you a quick demonstration. When we do CPR, the first thing we need to do is compressions. Why? Because compressions is acting as the heart. If they're not breathing, we need to act as the heart. So when we're pushing down, we are pushing the blood and it's the blood that carries oxygen. We're keeping that person's vital organs alive. So a quick demonstration then. So how are we going to do those compressions? So if you have one hand and then put your other hand on top and squeeze the bottom hand. And we want the heel of a hand right in the center of their nipple line. This is where the heart is. This is where we need to target. So it's 30 compressions at a speed of roughly between 100 and 120 per minute. I just like to count. You can do Nelly the Elephant if you like. It doesn't matter so long as it is a good speed. You don't want anything too slow and you don't want anything too fast. So let's have a look and I'm going to count them out. We're going to do 30 compressions. So one, two, three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Once I've done those compressions, I want to get oxygen into our person so that we've got something to push around their body. So now that we've got on this CPR face shield, we've got that barrier. We've got to make sure that the airway is open. So make sure you tilt the head back. And we also want to pinch their nose as well so the oxygen doesn't escape. Mouth away. Mouth away. Now that I've got the oxygen in, I want to push the oxygen around the body again. So we just repeat 30 and 2, 30 and 2. That is what we're trained to do. A couple of things, though, when it comes to the CPR, you'll notice that when I'm pushing down, yeah, we're pushing down to target the heart. It's around about two to three inches, but it's also just as important to come back up again. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of examples how not to do it. So when we're pushing down, we push down, but we don't want to stay down. We don't want to continue, just keep pushing because we're not acting as the heart effectively. We also don't want to do too fast either because that is one, going to tire you out extremely quickly and two, is not going to be as effective as we want to. So good CPR is what we're looking for. So just a little recap then. Heel of the hand right between the nipple line. Make sure you're squeezing that bottom hand. The heart is below the heel of our hand. So we've got to make sure that we're pushing that blood which carries oxygen around the body. Notice how my arms are real nice and straight. We don't want any bend either. A good thing, well, one way I sort of um, talk to people how to do it to get that hand position. If you think that your shoulders are over your wrists, that's number one. And number two, imagine you had a snotty nose. Mm. If the snot was dripping on the person, that's not good. So we want to get over the person so that if our nose was drippy, it's dripping away from the person. And that's a real good tip to know that you are over the person's body correctly. And we're going to target that person's heart. 
So let's do it one more time. 30 compressions. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten, eleven and twelve and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Now remember, we're going to give those two breaths. We've got on this little pocket mask. It's got a one way valve in it, and you don't have to put your mouth onto theirs. So make sure the airway is open and pinch the nose. Mouth away. Mouth away. And you would just continue. The most important thing as well is make sure that you've called 999. You've got emergency services on the way. And you continue 132, 132 until the paramedics arrive or a first responder um, or maybe a doctor. Regardless, you'll be surprised by what you can do. I'm Sarah and I'm owner and trainer of First Aid at Work Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire, in partnership with Mini First Aid. So um, I hope you never have to use this handy little pocket mask. I've always got mine with me, just in case. <laughs>